What's up and welcome to Innisley Recycling Tours News Update, News Update, News Update. As some of you might know, Benny Mgarme is no longer taking part in the Giro, uh, Giro d'Italia, 2022 Giro d'Italia. He has withdrawn uh, due to an eye injury, which some of you might have seen when he opened up the bottle of champagne, uh, when he was accepting uh, his, um, his, uh, when he was accepting his prize for winning. And when he opened the bottle of champagne, it popped and it went directly into his eye. I don't know if you can imagine that that champagne bottle was under a lot of pressure and it's almost like a gunshot to the eye. It was almost like a gunshot to the eye, so directly to the eye. So basically, a lot of people would have looked at that and like you said, is it that bad? So basically, and if you want to understand exactly what's wrong, here's exactly what's wrong. This is basically from the doctor. We've had an update from the team doctor via the ophthalmologist at the hospital where Binium was taken and attended to. The neurologist who took a look at Binium's Bin eye said the injury is a hemorrhage to what they call the anterior compartment of the front part of the eye away from a very from very delicate structures of the back of the eye but there's bleeding in the eye and said it and they said it needs rest so Benny is unable to compete continues to compete at the Giro doctors warned that if he does race with the high levels your heart heart rate reaches during a race uh, all the pumping of the blood and all that creep you know the pressure gets high this can put more pressure on everything including the eye and could cause you know could cause more bleeding and he has been ordered to rest. The good news is that his vision is fine. And they say that rest will be good enough and hopefully he will be good as new. So from in the recycling tours, I'm gonna wish uh, Benny all of the best and that um, he recovers well and that you, you never know. There's already been some talk that he might be at the Tour de France. That would be awesome. That would be awesome. But what's disappointing is that um, he he's now out of the Giro and I was, you know, he was so close to the Chiclamina and he was only three points off the Chiclamina. And every, I think everyone was looking uh, forward to that competition, you know, and duping out with Dumas because like, in the flat out sprints, I think Dumas may have gotten, it, gotten him, but there are also stages left where it requires, a, you know, not just a pure sprint, but a sprint and power where he could have got his own back. And, you know, and also with the, the intermediate sprint points along the way, you know, he could have kept it uh, honest, like like Sagan used to do. Sagan, he didn't, like, like there's a couple of years, I think he must have just won one stage, but because he got, like, most of the intermediate sprints, and he kept, he was very consistent, like, like Binium, and finishing, like, in the top five, and uh, getting points, he, he won the green jersey and kept the green jersey. So, I'm, I'm looking forward to good things uh, for Binium in the future, because he seems like a, a, a Sagan type of rider, but, uh, just maybe having a bit more power and speed but we'll see how that pans out so but also on top of that we're gonna keep track of the Giro we're gonna keep our eye on how we could have see rise for EF, edu EF education uh, he's one of the other Eritrean riders uh, he's a pretty good climber he's been in uh, quite a few of the breakaways and then we're also going to keep an eye on our net in the hole the festival um, he had a crash the other day and luckily he you know he's okay and um because he went off the road on a downhill it almost looked like he just he was like he must have been looking down or something and you know the corner just came up a lot faster and quicker than than he expected and he just ended up off the side of the road but luckily there was a lot of bush like behind me and uh so he was he was it was a hard landing but it was still softened by softened by the brush and stuff so you know had it been like a our rocky edge or something it could have been a lot worse so because he was he was moving he was doing some speed they said they was up to you know doing up to 90k you know on that descent so we're going to keep an eye on those two riders and uh you know wish them all the best and also we got um, um wish into marche all the best because they definitely yesterday they they were like a hundred percent in behind uh Benny and, and 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 it was part of the reason why he got the win yesterday because they did a lot of work yesterday and uh they you know heads off to the inter marche team and our best of luck to them for the rest of the tour. Popo Pozo Pozo Via, and um, like he's in the top 10 right now. Uh, good luck to him. Like, uh, he's an intermarche uh, teammate of Binium, and that uh, like he could continue to do well and get and, and finish with a top 10 finish. So, and last but not least, you know what you gotta do. Hit the likes, 
button hit subscribe to the channel hit the like button subscribe to the channel and um the rest is the rest is history <laughs> so you know i'm doing the competition for the industry recycling jersey so you know in order to be in the competition you got to subscribe to the channel so but uh getting past that i've been sort of like you know okay there's talk about he may Benny Benny and maybe in the tour de france we'll see i don't know how that's gonna work but we'll see if he if he ends up in the tour de france that would be totally amazing because he's just gonna he's just gonna make it so so much more exciting and then that thing i sort of been looking a little further into the future i've been looking into my crystal ball i'm looking it's australia september 22nd in, in, in wollongong australia that sounds like somewhere in china does that wollongong so but anyway that's where the world championships are going to be this year and aside from the the the, the first opening major climb which is 8.7 kilometers and it's got some pretty steep grades in it that's like the only real challenge uh so if Binium's at uh, the World Championships, as long as he gets over that 8.7 uh, mile climb, he's in with a chance to, because the rest of the course is, it's 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 built like a, typically like a World Championship course. It's on a loop course where they, they hit a climb. It's about 1.1 kilometers. Uh, like it's, it's like, things say like 11 to 15% in some sections on it, but it's, it's definitely his type of uh, course. And uh, I'm just, Hoping that he could, uh, you know, get himself ready, rested up. Tour de France would be perfect preparation. The World Championship course, it, it looks like a course for him. You know, uh, typical type of uh, loop course, like really almost like classic style. Lots of lots of little climbs, lots of hard little climbs, which just totally kill the legs. But he seems to do quite well there. So I, I'm, I'm thinking like World Championships. Yeah, boy. Yeah, he. I think. World Championships is going to be something to look out for and it'll be so awesome predicting to you now just imagine Biniam Gourmet first world champion from Eritrea Africa oh my goodness let me stop let me stop let me stop let me stop, let me stop. I'm getting ahead of myself I'm getting excited <laughs> I want to get excited that would be awesome so but on top of that I also just had some things in my mind it's like I got tour Rwanda uh, I know that, that cycling in Kenya's um, start is, is, is on the rise as well and doing well. And I, at some point in time, I hope to be able to to, to visit, uh, you know, a few places, a few of the cycling centers that meet some of the people that I got, that I've been interacting with and stuff. Like, cause I'm, you know, it's just it's just awesome to see. It's just awesome to see. Cause I when I started cycling back in the day, um, I know I don't look that at all, but yeah, when I started cycling. I mean, every race I was at, it, I was like literally the only person that looked like me. You know, every time I went to a, a pretty big race or a larger race, and and it, it, it's sometimes it's a little bit intimidating, but uh, sometimes it's it's it, it's fine. It's fine. Like in Spain, I don't know why, but I just got so much love in Spain. It's crazy, you know. I just got so much love, but they the cycling crazy in Spain anyway. But I'm um, um, yeah, just like to to have. Uh, like more people that look like you like in in you know when you show up to an event it 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 does something for you you just like you just like a little bit and then you just okay i'm here to race like everybody else and that's all you do you just want to come ride your bike and race and have a good time and that's that's all most people want you know they don't want nothing else and like all of the politics and stuff they just want to they just like riding a bike like i did i just like riding my bike and um i just wanted to experience uh riding it further faster higher harder and um i got to do that it was pretty amazing it was pretty amazing so <clears throat> yeah so i would i would like to you know at some point hopefully I can um travel down to i don't know Eritrea. Uh, definitely going to go to kenya uh senegal is definitely on the books so but these things will come in time and uh i would like to like meet up with some of the up-and-coming cyclists and stuff and and uh, just see what's going on in the in the in the region in the continent of Africa because because like they did with football they're gonna do with cycling they started pulling the superstars from um, Af African Cup of Nations you know now you see those guys all those guys playing in African Cup of Nations all the big European teams you know teams from all around the world are like picking them up because there's some talent there so I think the same thing's gonna probably start to happen with um, cycling so they're gonna start picking them out like. 
So yeah, it's it's the, we're on the beginning of something. Africa always comes out doing some major stuff. So big up all African cycling from all the countries in Africa, no matter where you come from. Big up to yourselves. Keep doing your thing, and I, I'll keep watching, and I'll I'll report on it the best that I can. I can only report on the information that I get because like, like it's hard getting like 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 information and stuff from from uh, some of the African um, uh, federations like the. Um, yeah, the African uh, Championships, like uh, uh, just a little while ago, and there's a friend that lives here in the UK that he went down, and I was looking for information left, right, and center, but he he uh, sent me a link, and I was there. But just like just trying to find info is not hard; it's hard. And if I would, if if he would not send me that link, I would still be looking. So I mean, I would love to get more information about the riders, the races, the events, and everything that's going on, and I would love to cover it more. So if you want me to cover. You know what's going on in your region in africa i just it's, you know my email here's my email and i'll i will um, um do my best to make sure the rest of the world knows what's going on and, and the awesome talent that's going on on the continent of africa no matter which country you are from so anyway that's about it that's in this movie cycling tours wow 11 minutes i've been talking my backside off so in this movie, cycling tours uh thanks for tuning in remember hit the like button subscribe um, please 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 subscribe to the channel like I said if you subscribe to the channel and you're between a subscriber 1 and 1000 you've entered yourself into the running for winning a Innisweeby cycling tours kit and um, that's that's going to be a pretty sweet win for whoever it is so anyway that's it thanks for listening peace out and until uh, the next uh, to the next one peace